the Bolero Shield is an episode of the original The Outer Limits television show. It first aired on February 10, 1964, during the first season. There are several similarities in the story's theme, plot, and structure to William Shakespeare's Macbeth, and many critics agree it was the series' take on that play. There is a passion in the human heart which is called aspiration. It flares with a noble flame, and by its light, man has traveled from the caves of darkness to the darkness of outer space. But when this passion becomes lust, when its flame is fanned by greed and private hunger, then aspiration becomes ambition, by which sin the angels fell. A scientist, Richard Bolero, played by Martin Landau, builds a powerful laser device that he shoots into the sky from a laboratory on the top floor of his home. But the invention is not practical enough to satisfy his demanding father, Richard Sr., who views his son as a failure and has made plans to hand control of the Bolero Company to someone outside the family, to the great chagrin of Richard's ruthlessly ambitious wife, Judith, played by Sally Kellerman. One night after Richard has left the lab, a peaceful, bioluminescent extraterrestrial from a world which hovers just above the ceiling of your universe rides the laser down to Earth. Judith tries to shoot the alien with a laser gun, but the alien protects himself by using a small device in his hand that instantly raises a powerful shield around him. Recognizing that the technology would bring her husband great acclaim and fortune, Judith gets Richard to leave the house by persuading him to go fetch his father. She then tries to coax the alien into giving her his shield's control device, but he disagrees, fearing his technology would fall into the wrong hands. Judith then tricks him into lowering his shield and shoots him stealing his shield control device. Judith and her maid, Mrs. Dame, secretly drag the apparently dead alien's body to the cellar. During a demonstration in front of Richard and his father, who do not know that the alien has been shot, Judith raises the shield, but is unable to take it down and becomes trapped inside it. Mrs. Dame, desperate to save Judith, from death by asphyxiation, goes to the cellar and is startled to find the alien still alive, but very weak. The maid begs him, can you help her? The alien replies, can I not? Just before dying, the alien lowers the shield by using his own glowing blood, the substance that powers the control device. Despite her being rescued, however, Judith insists that she is still trapped by the shield. The imagined shield, perhaps of her own guilt over killing an alien that thought only of helping her. As the episode ends, she places her hands helplessly on the shield that is no longer there. On one hand is a spot, a glowing drop of the murdered alien's blood that presumably will stain her palm forever. When this passion called aspiration becomes lust, then aspiration degenerates, becomes vulgar ambition, by which sin the angels fell. So check out this classic episode of The Outer Limits on DVD, Blu-ray or streaming, and I'll see you in the next exciting video.